Hi everyone. Good afternoon. I'm just getting my camera set up in the right place for you. Hope you've had a good morning wherever you are in the world or evening. Um, we're just going to use our mats today. No equipment required. We might use equipment for um, classes in the future. As some of you may know, um, I've been doing these lunchtime classes for four or five years now. Um, started on Zoom. And I've just switched over from Zoom to YouTube Live so I can reduce the cost to my members. Um, and I also feel that the quality of the recordings are so much better on YouTube. So if you choose to join our live class membership, which um, will entitle you to two extra classes a week on top of the free class that comes out on a Friday. So you can join us live for those eight classes a month and also get recordings for them. If you're not able to join us live, you can do them whenever it works for you. Okay, we are about to get started. If you've just joined us, we're not using any equipment. We're just going to stand up on our mats, get you warmed up. So the theme for the two live classes, um, each uh, class is 45 minutes. The Monday class is an intermediate class. And the Wednesday 45 minute class has a stretchy theme to it. So some of the classical Pilates moves, and we just heighten and focus more on the stretchy elements of the movements. Lots of work on hips, lots of work on hamstrings. Okay, we're going to start moving together. Um, now I say this, for those of you who've been doing these this Wednesday classes, for a number of years now, you'll hear me say every week, just listen to your own body. Um, we all have different range of mobility and flexibility. So what I can do will be different to what you can do um, and vice versa. So do what feels right for your body. Rest when you need to. If you can do more than me, by all means do. It's not about whether we do more or less than each other. It's about giving our body what it needs. Okay, so you can see I'm stood in the middle of my mat. I've got my feet hip distance apart. I'd like you to lift the ground of your head to the ceiling, drawing the rib cage down, drawing the tailbone down towards the floor, and just settle those feet down on the mat. Give those toes a little wiggle. Press those 10 toes down. And once I stand into the floor and lengthen those legs, I'm trying not to lock out those knees. So a light connection into your core. We're going to take an inhale and then slowly dip your chin down towards your chest. And then exhale, we're gonna tip our nose up towards the ceiling. And chin lowers, chest lifts. One more. So just layering in your breathing. And then we bring our head to the center. And then we're gonna slowly look over one shoulder and then turn your head to the opposite direction. So if you're just logging on, bear with us because this is just our warm up. The movements will become more challenging. They will flow more, but it's just important to get the body warmed up first and then come into the center. So I'd like you to now press your left arm up to the ceiling. And I've made sure that that shoulder's not hiked up. I'm still connected into my core. And then we're gonna slowly switch these arms. But this time, press the opposite arm further back, draw that shoulder down and switch, and switch. So just working on that range of movement, warming up those shoulder girdles, and firing up our core as we stabilize our center. Okay, we're gonna go four, and three, two, last one, pause here. Whichever arm is elevated, bring it down. Press the palms to the ceiling, draw those shoulders down as you lift the arms, and then slowly turn your head again from side to side. And one more time on each side. Come back to the center, relax those arms. Bring your hands onto your palms. Just a softening of the knees. If you're just joining us, welcome. We're gonna inhale and draw your chin down towards your chest. And then start to slowly fold down your spine. So I'm rolling down. When we get to the knees, let the arms hang away. Hands come away from the knees. Scoop in here in your center. Take another breath in. 
And as you breathe out, continue to fold down. Scoop those ribs in and up. Nice, pause here. Try and keep the knees, the hips still, and gently sway round to one side, to the center, and then round to the other side. So we're lengthening the waist on one side, shortening the waist on the other side. Feels rather lovely and like exactly what my body needs today. Come into the center and then scoop and lift. So this workout can be done any time of day. Great to do when you roll out of bed, great to do in your lunch break, great to do before you go to bed. I want you to raise those arms up. Okay, so we've got the palms facing forward, shoulders are down. We are going to come into a Pilates stance. So draw those heels together, lengthening those legs. Scoop in here, engage your glutes, nice. Okay, we're gonna slide our spine down imaginary wall, press those knees out wide. Bring those arms down. Lift those arms up, lengthen the legs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So let me hear you there in that breathing. Breathe out now, lift, reach. Good. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Just watch, we're not tipping that tailbone out. Draw the tailbone long down to the floor and lift. And two more. Great job. Last one. Come down, hold. Press those arms out wide, tailbone drawing down, rib cage pulling down here, arms reach wide. Push the knees out. Bring your right arm down, lift the left arm up and over. Come back to the center. Over we go, opposite side. Nice, well done. And one more on each side. Lift, lift the ribs up from the hip. Nice, we go wide. We go one more time, lift up and over. Reach and slowly come up, nice. Bring those feet to parallel, you've got those heels close together. Raise the arms, interlace your fingers and then you've got your thumbs at the base of your skull. Now let those elbows go out wide, but not to the point that those ribs flare. Neutral spine, I know I always say the same things, but we need reminding, me too, okay. So we're gonna lift our right heel away from the mat. Lift and lengthen up as much as you can out of this left hip. Squeeze this quad and glute, fabulous. And then you're gonna slide this foot out in front of you. You're gonna tap the floor in front, tap to the side, tap behind, sweep all the way back. Tap, 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 and return. Nice, well done, it's gonna challenge your balance going to challenge that range of movement in the hips. Well done. Good. Breathe. Well done. You've got one more to go. Tap, 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 all the way around. Come all the way in. Stand tall. Well done. Relax those shoulders. Opposite side. Lift the heel. Connect into your right side. Take the toe out in front. Tap the floor. Tap the side. Tap behind and sweep. One, two, three, return. Nice, well done. As much as you can, try and keep the waist long on both sides. Head pressing into your hands, standing nice and tall. Well done. We're gonna go one more. And round. And step in, reach those arms up. Take those feet hip distance apart. Start to come down with a sweep and lift, nice. Inhale, exhale. So just moving our bodies, making sure we're nice and warm. We're gonna go two more. And last one. And lift. Gorgeous, well done. Step to the top of the mat with me. Okay, bringing your hands onto your hips, softening those knees, hinge forward. Okay, so we're lengthening through the spine, through the neck. You're going to step your right foot back. And as you step back, make sure it's a big step, okay? So nice big step, keep a bend in this front knee. Okay, we want to move the front foot so the heel is either further out than the knee or directly under the knee. Back leg straight. Shift your weight into that back heel. And lift up. 
and down and lift and again brilliant so pressing that heel down to the floor feel that stretch in your calf your achilles lift up two more times don't worry if that heel's not going to the floor just make sure you can feel that movement and one more time, heel presses down, hold here. Raise the arms up in front of you. This might challenge your balance. We go again. So keeping that spine long. Lift and lower the heel. One more time. Nice. Bring your hands onto your hips. Carefully step in, stand tall. Shake out those legs. Well done. And then we're gonna go onto the other side. So hands on hips. Hinge forward, core engaged, knee soft. Step the left foot back, make it a big step and then adjust this front foot accordingly. And then when you're ready, we're leaning the body forward as we press into this heel. Now I can definitely feel a difference from one side to the other. This calf is tighter. It's more challenging trying to press that heel to the floor. Okay, it's normal to feel different from one side of the body to the other. And again, you're doing really well. And one more. Lift that heel, pause, raise the arms up, relax your shoulders, we go again. Four, three, make sure we're breathing with this. Two, and last one. Nice work, hands come down, step forwards, shake out those legs, well done. Feeling okay? Okay, we're going to take the feet shoulder width apart. We're about to roll down on our mats. So softening those knees a fraction, draw your chin down, and then again we start to fold. So that work is here in our center, scoop in. Yes, head feels heavy, arms feel heavy, fold forwards as you roll down. Nice. Now bring the palms onto the mat, directly underneath the shoulders. You might need to bring, bend your knees more to get those palms down. Step one foot back, step the other foot back. Come to a neutral position with those hips. Draw your shoulders, but blades down on the back of your rib cage, nice. And then stand into those heels, feeling that stretch again, calves and Achilles. Once you stand into the heels, you might then need to bring the hands a little bit closer here, under your shoulders. Now slowly press the hips high, press the heels down, nice. Lift the heels up, come back to your plank. We're gonna do that four more times. Hips lift, hips high, heels low. Heels lift, plank. And again, up, heels down, lift. Extend from the hips, lengthen through the neck. Two more. Just be careful with your hands on the mat if it feels slippy. I don't know if you have got socks on and they haven't got grips, also please be careful. Hips high, heels down, pause here. Now start to walk those hands in to wherever you can, which might be here before those knees want to start to bend. We're gonna keep the legs straight, we're gonna come into wherever we can. We're gonna keep going in, and then we're gonna pause at where we feel that's our end rain and challenge. Just let your head feel heavy. We're gonna take a tiny rock back and forwards. Just shifting the weight from the heels to the fingertips, and back, and back. Last one. We walk back up that mat together. Well done. Knees come down. Knees go wide. Feet go wide. Sit back. Nice. Well done. So as I, I reach up the mat with the arms, I'm pressing my sit bones towards my bottom. However, if this bothers your knees, come onto your forearms. Keep your less flexion at the knee joint and bring your head down to rest on the back of your hands here. Okay, so either position, just listen to your body. Three, two, one. Nice, we're gonna come up 
onto all fours and we're going to take a little walk towards the top of the mat and going to come to the right side of your mat. So we're just going to stretch out our inner thighs, our adductors, before we go on to the next exercise. Okay, so draw your navel in towards your spine. Stepping the left foot out to the side. Okay, long neutral spine. Take your right hand just slightly further up the mat and then reach your left arm out here. Okay, if that feels too much, bring this hand down onto the mat. Okay, we're going to raise this arm up. And we're going to hinge back here and then come forwards. You can add in a rotation if you wish and then you're going to press forwards. Lift up and over, turn your head and we're here. Otherwise we're here or both hands down on the mat. So lots of options. You choose what works best for you. And one more. And then come up and then bring that foot down onto the mat. So I'm gonna turn, you're okay to stay where you are. We're gonna switch sides with the leg. Okay, so you're gonna take your um, leg out to the side. So it's right leg, right arm, if you wish, reaches forward here, core nice and tight. Press back, sit down and lift up. We can turn and rotate here and forwards. It's absolutely fine to have a cushion underneath your knee on the mat for comfort and lift up and go two more and press forward. And this is your last one and lift up. You're gonna bring the hand down and you're gonna bring that knee in. Well done. Okay, we come back to the center of the mat. We're gonna take our knees wide, tuck your toes under, and then from here, long spine, pelvic floor engaged. We want you to lift your knees off the mat, press into a pike here. Okay, so the feet are wide on the mat. I feel like my hands are in a good position as in they're not slipping away, okay? So just be mindful of that because we're now about to take one hand off and we're going to reach our right hand towards the toes of our left foot, the ankle or the shin and reach. Breathe. Bring that hand back onto the mat. Well done. Switch sides. Reach and press. Try and keep those legs straight. Three, two, one and again. Switch sides, reaching across on a diagonal to the toes, ankle, shin, or beyond, reaching to the outside of the foot. Push both heels into the mat. Hand comes down and reach. Four, three, two, one. Bring your hands onto the mat and walk out into a plank. Okay, from here, you're gonna lift the hips up, heels come down, walk in fast as far as you can, and then walk back out, back to your plank. Feet wide, hips high, walking in, walk back out. And just one more here. Good job, how are we doing? Walk down that mat, nice job. Bring your feet together. Okay, so this is one of the reasons we were warming up your adductors. You're gonna step your right foot wide. Now just bear with me, as you brought that foot forwards, if your foot ended up back here, walk your hands down the mat, so then you come level with the, with the foot, as it were. Otherwise, we're up here towards the top of our mat. So we want to try and keep those hips as square as we can. If you want to, you can bring the back knee down and you would relax the foot here. Keep pressing the hands onto the floor, keep your chest nice and tall, or we're here, okay? We're gonna take our right knee and just push it out a little bit wider if we can, opening out those hips. Bring your right hand to the side of your head and we're gonna turn here. And then reach forwards. And twist. And then press forwards. And one more. Nice work. Press forwards. 
bring that hand down. Now we're all going to bring that back knee down if we haven't already relaxed that foot. Okay, walk your right foot in a little bit closer to your body, towards the centre of the mat. Okay, and then we're going to slowly start to walk back here. And we're going to try and get that leg as straight as we can. If we're still going to bend in it, we're feeling this on the glute and hamstrings, that's okay. Round your spine. If you're able to, get that leg straight. And then if you're able to, again, you would walk those hands out a little bit further. So I'm pushing my sit bones back as I reach forward. And we're all going to look very different when we do this in terms of range of movement. Now then, you're going to press the toes away and then draw the toes up towards your shin. So they press down and then you're pulling them up towards you. Nice. Try not to twist the body, try and keep your body centered. Good, and last one. Brilliant, take your time coming out of this. Nice, bring your hand back into the center. Tuck those toes under, that's it, well done. We're gonna lift the knee, and then we're gonna walk that foot back. Nice, take those feet wide. Lift those hips, heels press down, heels lift up, come back to your plank. So whilst the Monday and Wednesday live classes have a theme each week, Mondays being intermediate, mat pilates and Wednesdays being stretchy, the classes will be different every week. Obviously there'll be some repetition of exercises but I like to mix the classes up so you don't know what's coming to challenge your mind and your body. So you never get bored. One more. Well done. Lift and slowly come down. When are we having a rest? Right now. So the feet together, knees wide. Remember, you can be here, bottom up high or you can press back here into your rest position. Breathe. Whilst you're doing that, I'm just gonna turn around here. Okay, and then we can get ready to do the other side. If I'm this side, you can see better what we're doing. Three, you're doing really well. Two, one, lift up, nice. So we come up towards the top of the mat together. You're probably already there, hands under our shoulders. Connecting to your core, thinking about engaging your pelvic floor. Draw in and up. Step back with one foot, stand into that heel. Step back with the other foot, pause. Stand strong into the floor with the right leg as you step the left foot forward. Adjust yourself on the mat so that you've aligned your hands there about with the foot. Take that foot and knee a little bit wider on that left side. If you want to, bring the knee down. Push into the mat, lift your chest. Okay, well done. Hold here, pressing that knee out wide. Gonna bring, your, bring your left hand to the side of your head, turn and twist, and then reach the arm forward. We go again, lifting your head, that's it, push your head into your hand. And twist, if your knee's off the mat, try and keep that back leg as straight as you can. Reach forward, hand comes down, nice. You're gonna walk that foot more, uh, not more, further in on the mat. Bring the hand to the opposite side. Bring the back knee down, relax the foot. Okay, so we're gonna to start to curve our spine now. As we come in, you're walking the hands in and you're getting the legs straight if you can. Don't worry if you're here. Push those sit bones back, that's it. Keep those hips nice and square. Just do what you can. Tuck your chin down now towards your chest. And if you are able to, you're gonna reach those hands further down the mat. Well done. Core nice and tight, spine supported. Slowly point those toes away and then draw them up towards your shin. So you're gonna feel this down the back of the leg, that nerve glide as we draw the toes up towards your shin. And down, and lift. Good, well done. Just a couple more here. Nice work, and lift. 
Brilliant. Start to soften this knee. Come forwards. Good. You're going to bring your hands, the hand onto the inside. Good. Palms down. We're going to extend the back leg. And then take your time. We're going to step back here. Good. Well done. Bringing those knees down. Soften those feet. Come into your cat. So as we walk the hands under the shoulders, we're drawing your chin up towards your chest and we're focusing on that lovely even C curve. Now I need to relax my abdominals and I'm flexing at the hips. Press your tummy button to the mat. Push your chest forward and lightly lift your head. At this point, my abdominals are switched off. Lift, curve, good. Yes, keep going, keep going, keep going. Tuck your chin up towards your chest. Great, well done. And then slowly release again. I love coming into this position here and then to get that curve, realizing just how much pelvic floor and abdominals need to be engaged to really get that curve, that flexion, Really nice, well done. Relax one more time. And lift. Good, well done. So then keeping this shape, just rock back a few inches. Press forward. Nice, well done, and again. Try not to lose that curve. Lift, so really feeling this in my center. That powerhouse, nice and strong. Good, come back to the center. Take the knees a fraction wider. Take the hands just a fraction wider. So rock back now. And as you start to bring those sit bones towards your heels, you're gonna lose that curve. Bring your forearms down and then just relax those shoulder blades, draw them together on the back of your ribcage, press your tummy and your chest to the mat. And then start to lift up and you're sliding your chest, your navel up the mat. You're gonna come past your thumbs. You're gonna take a big breath out. We're gonna extend those arms, work those triceps. And then we're gonna lift again into our cat. So we hold this shape for as long as we can as we're walking back. Good. You bring in those elbows down. We're lowering our navel and our chest to the mat. We're going to glide up the mat. Got this, got this. Yes, well done. Press and lift. Two more. Just take your time. Really relax into it. Keep your chest as low as you can to the mat. Push into the floor with the heels of your hands to extend here and then lift. This is your last one. You're working really hard, well done. I'm sure your body is going to appreciate all this effort. You're gonna feel fabulous after this. Well done and relax and then slowly come up you can have a cushion under your knees if you want to we're going to come up to high knees okay so we find a neutral position with the hips so think as if you were standing on the mat extend through here but lightly engage those glutes to give you stability draw those shoulders down away from your ears just checking my watch oh we've got lots more fun to come Okay, I would like you to keep the palms on the outside of your thighs. Okay, we start by bending the spine to one side. So on this left side, my ribs are about to lift away from the hips as I lengthen the waist on this left side and I go over to the right side. I'll come this way so you can see. Now I'm trying not to push the hips out. This part of my body stays static. Focus on that bend in the spine here. Nice. Now take your arm and reach up and over here. Again, working more into this side, reaching that opposite arm down to the floor. And then you're going to bring this arm up and over. And we're going to come all the way up. Now then, if you feel that strain your neck, bring your hand behind your head as we go 
up and over the same movement. And we're reaching this arm, that lever staying long. I'm wiggling my fingers at you. Palm presses to the floor. And then slowly lift up. Alternatively, sorry, we're here. And we're going to reach down with one arm and up and over with the other arm. Feeling the waist shortening on this side, working those obliques. Lift up, reach wide. Nice, we go again. Good job. And lift. Nice, and last one. Lift. And all the way back. Bring your hands across your chest. Relax those shoulders, nice. So we're gonna take the knees just a fraction wider. This is before we go onto the other side, don't worry, I won't forget. Glutes engage, stabilize the pelvis. So we start to turn our head around to the left side. It's this rib cage. Imagine it rotating around an axis. We grow taller as we twist away from our center, come back to the middle, and then round to the opposite side. And centre. So layer in the breathing. Inhale. Breathe out. Breathe in. Go round to the opposite side. And exhale. And again. And one more. And centre. Nice work. Arms down by your side to begin with. Or just hanging loose here. Okay, we're going to bring those knees a little bit narrower. Glutes engage. Uh, waist equally long on both sides. That's about to change. So we're going over to that left side. Push your right knee to the floor. Press down into this right hip as we go over. Just watch. I've just realized this shoulder was coming forwards. Keep those shoulders square. Lift this arm up. Breathe out, come all the way up, reach wide. So one palm's facing down, the other palm's facing up to the ceiling. So remember, you can support your head. So we're going over, lift, press and reach. Nice work and slowly come all the way up. Big breath in. Two more, well done. It's really hard to keep those hips still, not pushing them out. You're doing a great job. Squeeze your glutes, draw your navel in towards your spine. Reach and all the way back and bring those arms down by your side. Well done. Cossack your arms. Okay, arms are cossacked. So you can stay in this position with both knees on the floor, or you're going to bring one foot in front of you, okay, just to give you stability. If you're in this position, you're pressing this foot into the floor, we're going to anchor that knee into that position, okay, and we're just twisting again, twisting away from our centre. Having your foot here helps to stabilise your pelvis, rotate back to the middle, and round we go to the opposite side. So try not to get carried away and let the arms do all the work. Move in here. So if you've got a watch on, you know, if not, imagine you have and keep it lined up with your breastbone as you rotate. Nice work. Come back to the centre. Twist away from the centre. And round. And just one more. Stretching, mobilizing, moving, gets you really warm. Come back to the center and release. Nice work, well done. Okay, we're finally coming down on our mats. So we're gonna swing those legs around. So you're gonna come and join me. Okay, so we're sitting in the middle of our mats. Sit up nice and tall with me, fabulous. Okay, so we're gonna have those arms in front. And then you're gonna take your left arm behind you. Okay, we're gonna walk those feet out wide. Okay, this is a challenging exercise, so just bear with me. 
Slide that hand a little bit further down the mat. Keep your core tight here. So we've, what I mean by that, we've not collapsed down. Okay, we're gonna reach this arm up and we're gonna push those hips up and we're gonna try and go up and over here. We're gonna come back down. We're gonna go again on this side. So this arm stays locked. We're gonna lift the hips and reach, press those knees out wide. Three, two, one. Bring that hand down and slowly come down. If this is not for you today, sit in this position, hands behind you, press those elbows and lift the chest. Elbows drive back and lift your chest. We've got one more to go on this side if we're doing the lift. Hips lift, squeeze those glutes, reach. Slowly come all the way back down, long spine, come back to the center. Relax, relax those shoulders, roll them. Well done, I will always try and offer variations. So if we go into a more challenging exercise, just give me a moment to show you the variation, okay? So we're either here, you're sliding that right hand away, we're connected into our core. We're here, make sure your feet are glued to the mat. Lift the arm up, follow that arm with your nose, press the hips up high. Slowly come back down. Alternatively, keep going with that or you are here. And press, working those triceps. We're down. Lift, draw those shoulders away from your ears. We're gonna go two more times. Lift up, rest if you need to. Last one, of whichever one you are doing. And slowly come all the way down. We're gonna bring those knees into the center, sit tall, bring your hands on the mat. Okay, I want you to tuck your, tuck your chin towards your chest. Start to inhale, come into your C curve. So I'm drawing my nose down towards my navel and I'm pressing middle of my back to the wall behind me. Reach those arms forward. Nice. From here, take those arms, sweep them back, press your fingertips into the mat and then lift your chest, extend your spine. Don't worry about throwing that head back. We want the movement here in your thoracic spine. Draw those shoulders down, open that chest. Start to relax, come back into your curve. So we're gonna glide those fingertips round, nice, raise the arms up. Try and keep those shoulders forward so we've not rolled back here. Nice, scoop into your center. Three, two, one, hands come down, slide them back, press into the floor and start to think about thoracic spine, press those ribs forward, extend the spine, shoulders draw down. Breathe here. Gosh, that feels good. Well done. And then again, just relaxing into this, bring those arms forward. And this time, bring your hands on the outside of your calves. We're going to start to roll back. So sit into this C shape first. Hands are going to slide up your shins as we roll back. They come to your knees. Scoop in here as much as you can. Chin down, eye line to navel. And then we're going to use our hands. And we're going to, if we don't need to use the hands, we are here. And we're going to slowly melt your spine down onto the mat. Bring your arms down by your side. Good work. Okay. So we're going to layer through a number of different movements here on the mat. Moving our bodies, mobilizing our bodies. It's going to feel fabulous. Okay. Just listen to my instructions. Follow the movements and enjoy. Okay. So we start with the ribs heavy on the mat, core engaged. We're going to lift the fingertips, palms away from the mat, draw those shoulders down away from your ears. So from here, we're going to raise those arms up above your head, palms face up to the ceiling. Tuck your pelvis, lower back's imprinted, and then slowly peel your spine up off the mat, coming up into your bridge. 
hold here. We're going to draw our navel down towards our spine as we engage our glutes. Start to melt your spine down the mat. When we get to the bottom of those ribs, we're then going to start to lift our head and we're going to curl up. Fabulous. Lifting those shoulders, lifting the chest. Take one foot off the mat and then the other and come to double knee fold. We're going to straighten those legs as much as we possibly can. Bring both hands towards that left leg. Draw that left leg in. We're going one and two. You can be here. Three. You can have the knee bent. Four. And we're going to pause here. Bend those knees. Extend those arms. Bring your feet down onto the mat. Slowly raise the arms up and then curl all the way down, taking those arms above your head. Back of the ribs heavy on the mat, feet hip distance apart. Tuck your pelvis, start to roll off the mat, peel your spine off, come up into your bridge once again. Big breath in. Breathing out, you're rolling down. Your head is lifting, your chest is lifting. Press those arms forward. Feet lift, we go again. Slowly extend, go right leg first. Pull in. And again. And two more. One more. Nice. Lift the legs. Fold. Reach with the arms. Lift and slowly roll all the way down. Bring your feet down onto the mat. And again, extend, we're gonna do that one more time. I could do this all day, it feels so good. Don't worry, we're not going to. So we're gonna tuck, here we go. Feel the ribs heavy on the mat. Then start to peel your spine slow, controlled. Off the mat, you lift up into your bridge here. Nice. And we're going to breathe in, and as you breathe out, you're melting your spine down, but then we're going to lift those shoulders and reach. Good job. Well done. Feet, one at a time. Extend the legs. We're going to go six, and five, and four, three, two, one. Legs lift. Bend, extend the arms, bring in your feet down. Nice, raise the arms up and slowly roll all the way down. Bring your arms down by your side. Nice work, well done. Okay, we're just gonna climb a tree a couple of times, focus on those hamstrings and then we're gonna roll over into our um, prone position and uh, work, work on strengthening that posterior chain. Okay, so you're sliding one leg down the mat, you've got a little bend in that knee, flex the foot, draw the other knee in towards you, hold the back of your thigh. Lifting our chest here. Now we're gonna layer into this more today. So we're gonna extend this leg, point, flex, bend. I'm lifting my chest towards the thigh. Bend one more time. Okay, keep the leg hit. Bring your left hand on the inside of either the thigh or the calf. Take your right arm out to the side and just gently press this leg out wide. Three, two, one. Come back to the center. Great. Bend the knee. Ooh, roll down. Okay, we're going to switch the legs. Take your time. Centre yourself on the mat. Left heel, pressing into the mat, foot flex, bending the knee. Fire up this left glute. Right leg. We're going to hold the thigh. We're going to curl up together. Pause here. Nice. Extend this leg. Flex. Point. Bend. And again. Good. Well done. So, Monday's class, today's class are free for you to get a taster for what these classes are going to be like. From next week, you'll need to click on join, sign up to the live classes membership, and that is going to give you membership to, or access to 
between eight and ten classes a month, depending on how many days there are in the month. And it's also going to be access to all the recordings of the classes, so you can do them at your leisure. We're going to roll over now onto our sides, and then come with me. We're rolling over onto our tummies. We're going to have our feet wide, heels turned in, toes turned out. So we've got the forearms wider than the mat, thumbs lined up with your nose. Just hover your nose off the mat, relax the shoulders, relax your lower body. Imagine someone's pressing on your tailbone, drawing that tailbone down towards the floor, finding that neutral position of the pelvis. So we take an inhale to then exhale, keeping the neck long, the neck long, not necks, and press uh, your breastbone forwards. Pause here for me. Pause. Okay. Take both forearms, if you're able, off the mat and draw those shoulder blades together. Keep the chest lifted. Release. If that feels too much for today, we're going to go single, release, single, release. So it's not cheating. It's listening to your body and doing what feels right for you today. Keep that chest lifted if you can. Lift. Release. And again. Nice work. Two more. Good. And last one. Release. Lower your chest down onto the mat. Bring your legs to hip distance apart. And then I would like you to slide your hands away. So I've got my hands, arms, shoulder width apart. Draw your shoulder blades down on the back of your ribcage. Start to slowly lift your chest again. Now, as I lift my chest, I need to let my hands slide in a little bit to stop those shoulders hiking up. Lift, lengthen that right leg, left arm, slowly release and switch. Nice, so we exhale as we reach and lift. Imagine someone's pulling on the arm on that leg. And again. So we're going to come into a rest position shortly. When we come into that rest position, just relax and breathe and hold that position for as long as your day or time will allow. However, I'll come over to the screen and you've got any questions at all. You can ask me on the screen and I will try and reply. Okay, relax. Bring your hands under your shoulders, core engaged, lift. So we'll continue to put out our free workout every Friday on the channel. And so you'll also have access to that along with the recordings and live classes if you choose to become a member on the site. Rock back to the position you find most comfortable. So it might be here in child's pose with your arms down by your side, palms to the ceiling, shoulders nice and relaxed. It may be here with your arms crossed, and just taking that weight, that pressure off the knees. Or you can roll over onto your back and just find a cup position that is comfortable for you. So we're going to rest in this position. We're going to just let our heart rate slow down. Focus on our breath. And just try and stay grounded. Stay, stay present. Keeping your focus on your mind keeping your focus on your body and how you are feeling and how this has felt today for you. Just breathe. So if you do have any questions, you can fire away, you can put them onto the chat. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for joining me and moving with me. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Have a lovely rest of the day. And well done, everybody. See you very soon. Take care.
This is going to get uploaded this afternoon for you to enjoy at your leisure.